All right, so I claimed I would be better about blogging, vlogging, whatever you want to call it. Vlogging, I guess, is what they call it, right? So I am in the shop today, believe it or not, even though I slept like maybe two hours last night because my son is teething. So that was that's a lot of fun. Um, I've only been out here a couple hours, but we uh, put that compressor in back there in the corner because my old one, the regulator, stopped working, and I inherited that one like over a year ago and it's just been sitting here in the shop i actually use it most of the time to set the phone on when i do my videos so yeah i can't use it for that anymore i mean i guess i probably could but i mean the camera would be over there so anyways i've uh, been actually thinking about upgrading my youtube channel so i'm gonna get like a tripod and an actual mic for my phone so that you can hear me i just had my hand over the mic so you probably didn't hear half of what i said but I noticed my videos, the sound quality isn't that good. So we'll get a mic and maybe a tripod and different things to uh, try to upgrade, make it a little bit better for you guys. Um, anyways, the compressor's in. The old one's sitting here on the floor, right there. Yep. Uh, it just needs a regulator. Other than that, it's worked for me for years. It's like 16 years or 17 years old or something. But we were playing with a race car over here. I, uh, I'm playing with uh, the brakes and putting the electronics and stuff up on there out of the way, you know, where they won't get injured. But I'm having some brain fart issues because I should have taken more pictures when I took it apart. So now I'm trying to remember how the brake master cylinder and stuff hooked back up because it seems a little tighter than it should be. but. We'll figure it out here. It's a, kind of a strange design. Let's see if you can see it here. Uh, there it is over there. It's like a cam. The master cylinder actually runs sideways and turns that little cam with the brake pedal. See there? When you push the brake pedal in, it moves that cam up there back and forth and presses the master cylinder. But if you get up here and look down on it, can you see it there? This is like not even close. Like even if I pull it all the way over, it's looking pretty tight. But I'll figure it out. I always do. Other than that, I mean, there's a lot of stuff still to do to this thing. Um, most of the nuts and bolts in it are just loose because I'm going to have to go back through and do some bearings and stuff right before season starts to make sure that everything's good to go. But uh, we got some welding to do up front. I know, it's already painted. Why didn't I weld it before? Well, I was in a hurry. I was doing somebody else's car at the same time, so... Uh, we gotta weld these. Front bumper took a hit and split the bolt hole. Split the top of the bolt hole open. So put some weld in there, redrill the holes. Cause that's uh, yeah, not in good shape. But yeah, it's always something with a race car, you know. You can see outsider back there hanging out, looking like a shelf. But we'll get back to that here soon too. I just want to do a few more things to the race car before I push it to the side. And then uh, we'll get back on that. First things first, we got a couple small imperfections in the bodywork to take care of. And then uh, paint, man. Put another coat of primer sealer on it. Some high build. Get it nice and smooth. And then we'll put some color on it. And uh, the color combo on that is actually very similar to the race car. We are going to go with a snow white with a charcoal stripe and orange pinstriping. So a lot less orange than the race car, but still. We'll get some stuff done over there. Uh, the wheels will be uh, color matched charcoal and orange. But yeah, this place is an absolute disaster. I mean, there's, it's been worse. I mean, it's not that bad. But, yeah. yeah, it's pretty bad. There's crap everywhere. My bench is covered in shit. Simple green. Woo! It's good stuff. All right. I'm going to weld up these front bumper things and try to do a couple more things before I fall asleep. Pass out here. Exhausted. But as usual, keep it creative and happy building.